Hello all and welcome to episode 11 of Make Your Roguelike in Haskell. Uh, for today's episode I thought we're gonna continue a little cleanup and uh, just fix some little things that I have left hanging here and there and then with the next episode we can get into some more gameplay. <clears throat> One thing I want to get uh, done today is rid of these two large uh, two large types and what I mean by two large there is many more uh, many more values here than we actually can process in the code um, and there's some markers here I wrote where it's quite obvious that it should be some sort of a state monad. <coughs> I'd like to, uh, uh, there was an entity class, right, which I would like to make into a, an applicati applicative and a monad. And there's some sort of uh, little cleanups all around. Uh, so let's start with this. <coughs> I want to enumerate all the grass types we have all the rocks types we have and all the flower types we have and I'm going to introduce them as data types. So... Let's call it... This is silly, but I can't think of a better name. Maybe of this. No, fine. What was it? Comma. Quote and S quote. Let's store this for later. Rock tile. <clears throat> because we have only one. And we have, let's call it red flower. Blue flower, and let's add another one while we're right here. Eh. I feel like flowers today. <clears throat> right, so here I'm gonna need grass style. That's nice. And then one other thing I'd like. I'd like to turn this into a type class so that, well, I mean, right now everything is contained under the tile data type and we could pattern match all of these values in there as we're doing it here. But I'd like to uh, store specific instances with these types and just call, uh, recursively called uh, drawable from tile in these pattern matches without having to <coughs> pattern match directly into the grass tile, rock tile or a flower tile. So let's make drawable. Minus. Some here. Hmm. This is a nice place, <coughs> right where the drawable is. And then we do the instancing.
could, we could make this a bit nicer. How about instead of returning curse is drawable, we actually return a character and attributes. That is the correct type. And then we do not need palette on this first. mistake I know it's fine like they're all the same so <coughs> no error there that's it I think let's move on oh and this we can get rid of no need for it anymore Two can go away. Rock. That is done. And then let's deal with our flowers. Just an error. <coughs> so we use Excels and O's. Uh, yeah. And then our blue flower was <coughs> oh our yellow flower it could share a character but I don't know let's make it Y because why not uh, yellow then sure And for magenta, we do have a magenta, right? Yeah. <coughs> mm. What looks like a flower here? Star? I don't think we're using star for anything else, so it should be fine. <coughs> okay. And then this is closed now and we need it here oops 
more errors here. Oh no, it's fine. Tile. direction <coughs> let's make it like this because we're gonna keep the attributes the same we don't need to know uh, the direction we only need to know the direction for uh, for the character so we don't know where I guess we do could do a case And we just need one of these. Oops, this is for the doors. Oh, okay. Oh, I decided to make the doors yellow too. Well, sure, why not? Why not? And that's all right, <coughs> I think. And then the doors. whether they opened or not that's gonna be the same <clears throat> the same thing basically the color is the same and then here we're gonna test well we can solve it even better mm. bool boolean if they're Closed if they're opened. There. Okay. And then for. Come on. Thank you. For grass. Then we're gonna pattern match on our grass style. We're just gonna call tile character over grass style. Tile attributes over his grass tile. And then exactly same for the rock and the flower. Oops. That. Rock tile, flower tile. Passing the palette, not there. Let, let, and we could align all of this nicely because they're all the same, right? <coughs> this is from Rock Tile and flower tile mm, this looks ugly i'm just gonna oh yeah <coughs> forgot to move this out oops i'll pull it back a lot 
and then forward. Nah, it's nice if it's like this. That's good enough. <clears throat> this should be fine, but as you can see, first we don't need error anymore. It's not going to happen. But uh, I think the generation is going to fail now because the way we're generating tiles is not the same. So, oh, that's an interesting coloring error. Uh, oh, wait, yeah. We need to look at the map generator. from list Ah, there you go. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so we need to fix the distribution, and this is this is the tile to do what? It's an empty. Yeah, we don't need this to do because we've done that. Oh, it's an empty element, and we need empty element y four. Uh huh. Ah, this is why. So we need empty element. Okay, so when we create a CDF, we can end up. <coughs> having an empty list and then this logical error propagates its way forward until we get to a point where we have to pass in an empty element so i suggest we just fix this from backwards and we're going to do it in an easy way uh, non empty there you go full uh, one full n so this is going to create a list, but I know it's not going to be an empty list. So I'm going to create a non-empty here. Uh, I'm going to do let result. And then in, we're going to create a non-empty by pulling a head of the result and appending into the tail of the result. And That should work, yeah. Oops. Sorry, that was stupid. Okay. Fine. So, <clears throat> obviously, the find index now it works on lists, it doesn't work on non empties. So, let's see if we have something like find index for non empties and put data list. I know where the non-empty is by heart, but I also <laughs> I also included it here. So in case I, I forget, I will just check that. Uh, what do we have here? There's filter. There's grouping. We can get head. Is prefix maybe? There's no find index in it, but maybe we can redo, redo this piece of code so that it doesn't rely on find index. Mm, let's see. So find index returns either the index or nothing, right? So that's the uh, that's not gonna change even if we have an unempty because it might happen that there's no index. <coughs> that matches this but this isn't this isn't really correct because the way we form this list and the way we ask for a random we will always fall within a range so that we we, we do have to get an element 
So maybe what we can do, we could fold over the list and find the first element that's the first element that's above above our number. No, first element that's below our number. How does this work? Take a constraint and a list and return the index. Yeah. Okay. Let's try folding. <clears throat> this thing needs to return, it needs to return the element from the uh, underlying list. So we're just going to remove the empty element to make this clearer for us. What are we trying to achieve? There. And then we get a random. So And this is going to return us an unempty list of flow. Okay, so fold from the left, and we can start with I guess the first one ends up being the accumulator. Or in the last one, I'm not. Well, <clears throat> if I test with fold L, then the first one is accumulator and the second one is a current element. So I'm pretty sure that fold L1 is going to be the same. So accumulator element and then our list. We can just do this. An element is going to have its, uh, how do we call that? Let's call it P. And an actual element that we're looking for. So, if P is greater than i. No, if p is smaller than i, and I need to know the next element. Like it would be great if I could break out of this early. And I, I'm going to reverse this. If I is greater than P of this element, and at the same time I is smaller than the next P, then we need element else. Else we need to stay with the current element. So maybe the, maybe instead of fold L1, I am gonna use the one with the separate accumulator. And maybe for my accumulator, I could do a nothing. And then what we're gonna do is this, if accumulator is nothing, then just element else nothing so it's going to fill up it's going to still fold through the whole list hopefully short circuits in a compiler code in compiled code but it's going to store the element only if we're running to the first one which poses a problem now because i'd like to have this encoded in a type and I don't 
so I'm gonna have to do from just to extract to extract it out uh, just one moment oh, no. okay uh, this is this we we're gonna put in a separate Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call this find first. Yeah, sure, why not? We need accumulator, probability, an element. And there you go. And then DTE. That's it. And here, our accumulator is going to be uh, maybe A, right? And the element is going to be float of an A. And the return is going to be maybe A. Does this make sense? Okay, we need to pass float here. Hi, and uh, we need some extra stuff. And now we actually get to see the errors. Okay, what's the problem? Apply to too few arguments. And, oh yeah, sorry. Fine. First, actually, needs an I here. Okay. Okay. So it seems this is fine, and we're crashing on main right now. And there's. Okay. We don't even have to. I think put this in here because we are. Uh, we are seeing it from the scope above, and that's all right. Can I just do this? No, I can't. Okay, but this is a this is a place where <clears throat> it would be nice to use the uh, scoped type variables, so that we know for sure we are using exactly the same uh, the same type of one, and not just. Uh, same type of a constraint and a type variable not sp specifying a different one because bah, I'm gonna try to explain this when you do this without using scope type variables uh, you also have to specify them manually so I have um, a, a, m for a constraint and a for my type without enabling scope type variables and without specifying them explicitly this m and this a do not match these m and a here when you do this they do so now mm, i did a mistake say what oh and uh do i have to split it that pdf a yes it's because i'm passing in a pdf but i don't need to anymore see now there's no complaint about uh about the types not matching because we know that they're the same. Uh, we can remove. Oh, wrong key. Can remove JT. We can remove find index because we're not using it anymore. We don't need semi group either. What's non empty? To list is not needed either. Well, that's nice. Okay, so when this is fixed, let's go fix our main 76. 
Oh, this is stupid. Conflicting definitions. Do I have? Mm, okay, so this is for a tile, flower tile, rock tile, grass tile. Where is the conflicting definition? What am I missing? So it's 76, it's 79. How are these conflicting definitions? These are instances. Okay, I'm feeling stupid here. Something I did something really some really stupid mistake, and I, I don't. <clears throat> I'm not getting what. Palette and a yes and a to char and attribute. Honestly, I don't see it. I almost wish this was a stream so that some of you can tell me, but what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to rearrange the code in hope it shows me what am I, what am I missing. And at the same time, <clears throat> I can actually simplify it because I just see that some things are the same. Okay, now, now I get some other error. So I, whatever I've done. Oh, is this what the problem is? Ah, okay, I, I see I didn't know that. When you make the implementation uh, of the functions, I can't, I can't instantiate them the way I did. So, you know, one character, one attribute, one character, one attribute, so they have to all pattern match one underneath another and because they're obviously implementations of the same function and then I can jump on another one huh. yeah okay today I learned and as you can uh, as you can see 
it's a good habit that when something is not working just go and try rearrange the code it's you might catch like a syntax error or something <coughs> okay let's try to fix uh, what's failing now so we don't need we don't necessarily need a tile map tile what we need here is tile map over something that's drawable am I right because This map. Do I ever need to know that that's a tile? Int. This is where I grab a tile, right? And then, sorry. And this is where the T is accessed. So I don't ever need that. So let's make it like this. I need palette tile map A and I need drawable tile. It should probably not be called drawable tile, but let's leave it. Okay, and then right here, same thing. This is an A. So we can now only operate on, <coughs> on this and we need uncurry glyph. We don't need uncurry anymore because we're gonna call two different functions. We need tile character for a T and we need tile attributes with a palette and T. And that should fix it. I think so. And same here. I don't think we actually need to know it's a tile. Where is M accessed? It's here get all entities create entity from tile it takes map width okay so it just calculates the coordinate and takes drawable from tile so that's what we store I store the drawable in the entity but I don't need that I don't need that at all now I can store an actual tile <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna do and it is not gonna carry curses drawable, it's gonna carry a tile. There's a reason I didn't do this originally and I don't know which one was it. And also, when I look at this create entity from, file, uh, from tile, this is a, this is a quite, mm, the focus of this function is here. The fact that this creates entity is just that. So I don't think that this is a correct function to do. I think what we should do is use a constructor here and then have, uh, Entity, entity, like entity position actually from index. I think that's a bit more readable. Yeah. And then instead of drawable from tile, we are just going to put um, tile. And this is going to crash somewhere else, obviously, because we're not passing drawables anymore. Yes, we don't need the default anymore. Tile map. <coughs> right, because character is not carrying curses drawable anymore. D types of entities are not curses drawable. What is, you know, I'm going back and forth on naming my type variables something descriptive, not just using like A, B, C, and D, and I, I'm still not sure. Maybe if I just rename them using letters, so avatar. Let's say items are I. 
uh, enemies are E tile map or tiles are T and an avatar can remain A maybe this would make more sense so not C here this is uh, I enemies The initial game is going to be all full of tiles, and <clears throat> that's how it is, right? Create for map, it's going to create tiles. We have initial character that's going to be this, and character is what? Yes, and this is going to be inventory. Uh, character no, it's entity of character that carries a tile probably should not be called a tile anymore but that's for later Uh, initial game, initial character, create items from us, it's gonna create a list of entity tiles, which is which makes sense. There's no enemies yet. Well, so <clears throat> this is the only thing that's incorrect, and the correct form is this. Mm -hmm. three three four an update is obviously not the same anymore it's all tile 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 no still not ah rendering sure uh, tile no doesn't have to be tile no we can we just need to know that it's drawing so drawable tile the first one was an avatar, the second one was items, I want to say. Let's check. Items, I'm right. So the first one is avatar, the second one is items, the third one were enemies. <clears throat> so we want drawable items. That sounds like <clears throat> very much correct message, but that's all right. We're gonna fix that one by one. So map, map is good. Oh, even map doesn't actually need to know that it's a, it's a, it's an actual tile type. So we could probably remove this from being tile. <coughs> Draw items. Yep. Uh, to tile. Well, it's not tile. It's uh, I. Or I is mm -hmm. so we need exactly this thing here. I picked up a wrong brace. There you go. Draw character. We need nothing there because we have a glyph hard coded. Two nine six. Do we not need a? Oh, we need to pass a palette in. Okay. We do know we have a palette here. And obviously the names are not the same because it's 
CD, but it's not CD, it is a tile. It's a wrong name here. Mm -hmm. This is our test distribution now failing because <coughs> so we need to generate better distribution. And one thing that bothers me is that it's on the top and all of our types are defined here. So I'm thinking I shall move this downstairs. Somewhere around the game, I guess. Why not here? That's not too bad of a place. And of course, I fixed nothing yet. So, comma, quotes. Single quote, the rock is a full stop, and then we have four flowers that's red flower, blue flower, and we're gonna give them not equal chance of appearing just for fun. Magenta flower, <clears throat> let's say blue flowers are most common, uh, red flowers are gonna be about this. Let's make yellow flowers kind of rare and magenta flower super rare Let's see what happens and this is our replacement tile which is <coughs> something that i need to fix and i think i added it into the readme layer i did not okay this mm, tile map layers how we're going to replace it with comma okay three or six this isn't needed anymore which makes sense And because it never made sense that it's needed. And we need to stop pushing it in. Okay, we're now 353. Three. This doesn't need palette anymore either, which is great. Yeah, I don't know why did I delete this. We do actually need to know whether the doors are open or not. <clears throat> three, three, one. Initial game does not need a palette anymore to be created, which makes a lot of sense. But the game loop does need a palette because in a game loop we need to render things. And let's see if this works. Kaboom. Oh, nice map generator. So <clears throat> my assumption that uh, this thing will never be nothing is uh, is wrong. Right here. This is what's crashing. And I don't know why, but uh, I just need to... Uh, uh, where am I? This is what I'm looking for. And here, I just wanted to see that we are 50 minutes in. So, you know what? I think, I think we're gonna stop here, even if it's crashing, and I'm gonna fix this next time. Uh, well, thank you for uh, staying put, if you did, and uh, I'll see you next time.